It's Derek with Derek Builds, and um, still waiting on my ham ticket to come in. So um, while I wait, I've been just working on antenna building and designs and stuff like that. So I built a J-pole antenna probably about two weeks ago. Um, I guess I built two of them. One for two meter, one for um, 70 centimeters, or I kind of cut it close to the... Uh, family radio or general purpose uh, radio network um, just so I could go ahead and test it and um, been pretty happy with the results of building J-poles. I guess the problem that I found with the J-poles is there's just not a whole lot of gain. The really good thing is they're cheap, they're strong, and they're fun to build. Uh, but I've been interested in Yagi antennas. They're more directional, they have gain, um, so that's your typical Yagi. Um, but one thing that I've been interested in since I have a J-Pole is to make a J-Pole Yagi. It's been done back in 1988. It was done. Uh, not a whole lot. I guess that's from Ham Universe. So not a whole lot um, really discussed on it since. So I figure what the hey, might as well give it a try. Um, there's not a whole lot of modification. I guess in the end you still have your J-Pole if all else goes wrong. So I'll take you outside and let's take a look at the J-Pole that I have now and how I'm going to modify it to uh, make it a Yagi. Um, thought came to me after seeing a guy take a um, Sharpie marker. Imagine Sharpie marker. Somebody took a Sharpie and put a couple of pins in it and made a Yagi that would slip over your antenna. So it just slips there, gives you the extra elements, your director, your radiator, and all that good stuff. Um, so that's kind of the idea that I figured, hey, you could take a J-pole antenna, put a uh, director on it, put a reflector on it, and see about maybe getting, a, instead of being a unidirectional, have a little bit of direction and pick up a little bit of gain in the process. In Corpus Christi here, I sit on the coast. Most of my repeaters, I'm, I'm really close to the coast, so most of my repeaters are inland. Um, so if I cut off about 180 degrees of my antenna, I'm still doing good if I can pick up some gain. So that is the concept here. Um, my J-Pole is doing good to hit all my local repeaters with my bowfang, old portable radio. Um, also running the Surecom uh, SWR meter. Been pretty happy with it once I learned to tune the frequency to whatever my radio spit out. But could be a combination cheap China junk both ways. My radio could be missing what it's supposed to be hitting, or the uh, SWR meter might be missing uh, what it's receiving. Either way, they're talking to one another right now, and uh, puts me in pretty good spec on my SWR. So let's go take a look at this J-Pole that I built. So that is the J-Pole that I built. Probably have it about, oh, I'd say 16, 20 feet up in the air. Um, I actually made it at a three-quarter inch copper instead of the half inch, just because I was at the store. Didn't know exactly what to buy. Um, so... Also made a cheap Yagi for uh, HDTV. Pretty happy with that as well, especially for how cheap it was of just using like eighth in eight inch or eighth inch uh, copper tubing for. Um, I guess it was for water line for my water uh, ice maker, and I had some left over, so I just cut sections. I have one little uh, dipole radiator. There towards the end and uh, point it towards where the antennas are. Been pretty happy. Picks up all the uh, HD signals over the air that are available in my area. So here we go. That's my setup. I'm about to bring that down and do some work on that J pole to go ahead and make a Yagi or J pole array beam. J pole beam, I think, is what they call it. Um, so I hadn't seen a whole lot on this since 1988. We'll give it a whirl. Come with me. Go to the shop. Okay, so I'm working on the bastard child of the NSN3 SDO J-Beam project. Uh, found that on Ham Nation. Modifying a little bit just because of, uh, well, what I have in the shop. So my main um, antenna, my J-Pole is built out of this uh, three-quarter inch pipe. What I have in the shop is a half-inch pipe. So 
we're going to build my director and reflector out of half inch pipe. We are going to use PVC and I'm just drilling a hole in it and uh, going that route to size up and see if I can get that in there. Um, I guess the hard thing to do is to get my next hole straight up, shot in, and in plane. J poles have an issue with coupling. Um, so anything that's around them, it'll kind of couple to. Here's another J-pole um, that I have for about the 440, um, 70 centimeter range. I, uh, I'm interested as well to, uh, to build a uh, array out of this. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how this J-pole beam project works out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the antenna off my mast, bring it in here. Um, I guess the kind of the concept is have a 40 inch and this is for the two meter band um, 40 inch reflector 32 inch director goes down here um, and once again that's out of my half inch copper that's just laying around here in the shop uh, they recommend to cut your J pole down a little bit I still want to use my J pole and not have an extension or have to come back in and do anything else on it um, so, like I said, this is all an experiment because I'm using different size pipe. So in drilling out this section out, I was able to give it a little bit of play. Um, so it wiggles and to the furthest extreme on one side, it will, uh, it lines up perfectly in plane from the director to the radiator. So, time to cut my pipes for those. Alright, so here we are. I uh, brought my mask down and quick overview j pole impedance matching ring of wire cable there um, so there you go um, here's how we punch through there um, did a pretty good job lining up yep uh, that's a duct tape so uh, just taped it up this is just a piece so we keep everything square. Um, that's one thing that those quarter, or I guess half inch three quarter T's right there would really do with firming those up. And I wouldn't need that cross piece on the bottom. Um, and then also I'm gonna find some way to mount it up right here so that doesn't torque or twist. Um, trying to keep it in plane there. So there we have the J pole array beam pole system hack yeah see how it works um thanks for watching my video uh finished the j-pole beam i have brought it down so that way i can put the t's on it and finish it up a little bit more the testing on it's been pretty good so far i've been pretty happy uh there's actually one point where uh the wind had swung it around the opposite direction and i wasn't picking up anything um, so front to back it did change the game quite a bit um, swung it around in the direction I was trying to hit the repeater and it was spot on so right now it's uh, time to make another video of the actual finished product and uh, happy with it so far and gonna continue on with this build thanks for watching